So this is the actual to expected losing run calculator and it will help you see if you've got an edge on your betting system, uh, whether it's worth continuing to follow it or not. And it will also help you uh, set up your bank and your bets if you're using what I consider to be the best staking plan and that's the percentage staking plan where you bet a percent of, a, of your bank total on each bet. So we have the, you, input, you need your, the strike rate of your system and you need the number of bets and the losing run, the longest losing run that you've had so far, okay? This column here is the expected losing run that calculates what you can expect as a losing run used under these conditions or with these bets and strike rate that you've had so far. So you can see here on this particular system, there's been a 40.18 strike rate and 565 bets. Calculates that you can expect a losing run of 12.33, or let's say 12, and the, but the actual losing run has been nine. So ignore these two columns, these are just calculations as well. But this is the best calculation to look at. This, this means that this system here with how, you, how this system has performed so far has a 27% edge. Uh, anything with a minus figure in this column here means the system will not continue to uh, work out for you long term. And I personally consider um, you want at least a 10 or 15 percent edge. So let's just uh, input some figures here so you can see how it all works. Um, here's a system that we have already on Inform Racing. And we've got a strike rate of 23.5. Put that in as a column. And we have had 1,017 bets, and this is over, over well over four years. So that's 1,017 bets. 17 bets. And we can see here that this, the longest losing streak that we've had is 15. Let me put that in here. Okay. To calculate the uh, actual edge that we've got, we need to continue this calculation and bring it down to the next row. So if you left click on this cell with your mouse and just drag it across the four cells, and there's a small green box at the bottom now in the right hand corner, go over that with your cursor and just drag it down. Okay. And now we can see that with these strike rates and the number of bets we've had, you, can, you could have expected to have had a losing run of close to 26. Yet yeah, we've only had a losing run so far, and this is over well over four years, of 15 on the trot. Now that means that we are, if this particular betting system has a close to 42% edge and uh, on the expected losing runs. And this is, I mean, it's a, a very, it's, it's an excellent figure. Like I say, you want at least 10 or 15, 42% uh, edge. So I think using this betting system, which we have here, uh, you can be quite confident, there's a nice profit already. You could be quite confident that you can use this into the future and continue to make money. Okay, so strike rate, column B, number of bets, column C, the longest losing run you've had, column D, and then drag these down to the next row to uh, continue the calculations. Uh, as I said, this can be used uh, with the to work out the bets that you need if you're using the percentage staking plan. So here we have the calculations that you'll need. Um, Let's take that last system, and we have uh, an actual losing run of 15. Now to make your system even safer, you want to multiply your longest losing run that you've had so far by two, or you can even multiply it by three. So this means that you're, if you calculate it by two, and you're, you're working on a losing run of 30, it means that you've got, you can afford to have 30 losing up to 30 losers on the trot before your bank goes bust. And in the four years, we've only had 15. So we'd like to think this is very unlikely, okay? But you can times it by three and get 45. But I think um, if you want to be progressive and um, continue on the same form, 
times multiplying your longest losing run by two is enough, okay? So let's say you start with a bank of 500 pounds. You divide this by two times your so far actual losing run. Here it's 30 and that is 16.6. Now 16.6 is 3.32% of 500, okay? This means that you can now safely bet 3.32% of your bank on each bet. Uh, so as we know, 3.32% of 500 is 16.6. .6, so your first bet will be 16 pounds uh, 60. If this bet loses, you'll go, your bank will reduce to 483.40, and then 3.32% of that is 16 pound four. If if your next bet wins and your bank increases to 525 pounds, you then bet 3.32% of that, and that's 17 point. Uh, 17 pounds 43. So this is the calculation that you will need to find out if your system has an edge and also you can then use this to be able to work out the percentage of your betting bank that's going to work with your strike rate or your losing runs that you've had so far and uh, help you go on to make profits. I've just added the calculations that you can uh, use and save yourself time so you don't have to do the actual working out for these uh, stakes and percentages. So if you just put uh, input your betting bank amount in the uh, in this uh, the bank amount total there and calculate, you'll have to calculate your own fifth, whatever your uh, losing run times two or three, whatever you've chosen. So we've got 15 times two is 30. This means that the percentage of your bank is 3.33 and the first stake is 16.67. Uh, if you change your bank to 350, let's say, and we had a losing run maximum of 12, so we double that to 24, then your percentage is 4.17 and your first stake, your first bet would be 14.58, okay? Uh, what you can do, so if we go back to 500, and 30 percentage and the stake. If we lose, uh, if our first bet loses, and I'm just going to quickly work this out on the calculator 500 minus 1667. Uh, if your first bet loses, this means you'll be left with a bank of 48333, and this then calculates your next stake, so 3.3% of your new bank. So you can keep, just change your bank total after each bet to work out the next stake. If your bet had won and you increased your bank to, let's say, 517, then your next stake would be £17.23. So you could just, just input into the two blue numbers only, and this will calculate your stake each time. 